As we all know too well, a dining experience that hasn't been captured and shared does not exist. So when Carmel Wineries wanted to reconnect with a young generation of consumers who experience food through the lens of a smartphone, they created Foodography, a series of one-of-a-kind dinners centered around a set of unique plates, the Limbo and the 360, that would be used to teach foodies the art of capturing the perfect shot of gourmet food through the lens of a smartphone. The project struck a nerve deep within the foodies community and was covered by all the Israeli news channels, newspapers and websites. But conquering the hearts and minds of Israeli foodies was just the beginning. Next we set our sights on the international market. I saw this story this morning, I honestly have to tell you, I really thought this was a joke, but no. Introducing Instagram friendly plates. People are people. going to hmm? take pictures of their food so you can either try and stop it or you can help control your message. Or you can set up lighting, a right. special background. Israel's Carmel Winery teamed up with Tel Aviv restaurant Katit to offer the customers the most Instagrammable food possible. Damit sich das ändert, serviert ein Restaurant in Tel Aviv. In Foodography Menüs dazu erzählt mir Besitzer Mir Adoni im Skype Interview. Ran Ahar ni ben ran nei Israel ne ka chu wa Katit and Carmel Winery mi nao kit mai ki tob jod kon Within the space of five days, Foodography was covered by some of the world's most coveted news properties, crossing borders and reaching as far away places as China, Thailand, Greece, and even Iran. It even started receiving mails from a slew of marketers for a lease on the production of its unique plates, and doubled its number of followers on Facebook and Instagram. While we have not a clue how much media all this PR coverage is worth, one thing is certain. With its original investment of only $25,000, Foodography by Carmel Wineries created a tremendous bang and will go down in Israeli marketing history as the most talked about bit of marketing ever.